Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new week. In this week, we're going to discuss uh, goal settings based on SMART objectives. As you can see, the SMART is capitalized because each and every letter signifies something. The S stands for specific. The M stands for measurable. The A stands for achievable. R, realistic. And finally, the T stands for time specific. Therefore, this lesson will focus primarily on the, the following objectives. The first lesson you will be you must be able to identify and distinguish between aims and goals. So you'll be asked to set, in other words, your personal and academic goals that you wish to achieve in this year. And in order to write specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-specific goals, you must differentiate between an aim and a goal. Also, uh, you will uh, be you, we will provide you with diverse uh, statements for you to distinguish and discuss whether they are goals and or aims and state why. The second part of the lesson, which is going to be lesson two, you will, you will identify the effectiveness of goals long-term and short-term. So here we're going to discuss how to set short-term goals that will essentially lead you to the, to your long-term long -term goals. Uh, for instance, if you wish to um, maybe excel in a specific uh, task or master something, you can't quickly master it if you don't know the basics of it. So you'll need to probably set very short goals that will help you build up to these long goals, long-term goals. Also, you will produce personal and academic goals. When I say personal, this has to do with your personal achievement that is not directly related to academics. Perhaps you're interested in arts and you'd wish to, be, to draw uh, six portraits or maybe two or three that reflect a issue that you'd like to uh, illustrate inside of the school, or perhaps uh, personal could be something that is related uh, outside of school, maybe um, develop your uh, social circle. So this could be a personal goal that you wish to establish on the long run. Um, also the academic goals, our prim primary focus uh, includes the school, your performance, where you want to reach, where you stand, and what, what you wish to accomplish throughout this year. Uh, during this class, we'll focus on communication and critical thinking, because uh, when you set your goals, you need to analyze your goal based on the SMART objectives that were discussed in the previous class. So as you can see, this, these two classes are interrelated, so they rely on one another. Uh, before you produce your personal academic goals, you need to understand uh, what um, what are SMART objectives and how to write your goals based on these objectives. The last class will be based on plastic pollution. Here we're going to discuss and explain what is plastic pollution. And you're going to state uh, possible solutions in order to reduce plastic pollution that are not discussed. So you'll here you need to think outside of the box. And finally, because we want to relate how smart objectives are established everywhere, they're not just based on you writing your personal and academic goals, you can use smart objectives in almost your daily life. So here, for instance, you're going to look at the solutions and assess whether they are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-specific. So when you write these solutions, you need to assess them accordingly and deduce whether they're possible. Here, you might decide that this solution is not possible and you need to amend it. So understanding them is very, understanding the SMART objectives are essential uh, because it may reflect to any discipline and any situation that you may face apart from uh, the task requirement. So here it shows you how this is integrated in our daily life, in fact. In this class, we'll focus on our research skills and finally, critical thinking. Have a lovely day, Miss. And if you require any further details, don't hesitate and send me an email.